They missed her. What? You're strong, ain't you? Yeah. How long did it take? Quite a while. That sure is a great gun there. <clears throat> None. And I shot and scalped a lot of freckle-faced kids. You haven't changed a bit, have you, Trap? This place sure has. I see they're building a church. Be a school, Nick. Hell, I remember when there wasn't nothing here. I had to go a hundred miles north to cross. Yeah. This sure is gonna be a real town someday. You ever think about that, Travis? Lots of times. Get ready to let the tail get down. Sure. out there long enough and you get lonely. Didn't you ever get lonely out there? No. Well, it's different with me. Who's that? Roland Hall, another squatter. Hey, Travis, I got us some meat. you get for your money is a river crossing. Look at that, senor. Look at the water. How, de how deep is it? Deep. Days find your head at the bottom of that river. I do that right now. You put your hand back there, please. I'll get the horses off, take a look around, make sure nobody's coming. You know, can't get loose now. Good. Jimmy ought to be here soon. All we have to do is wait. You see. <laughs> oh, they give me a couple for Remy right from here. Ooh, I just make it. Ah, I could take a shopkeeper first. Ray Bochachita is Willinda. My love is Bolita. But that singing makes me nervous. I don't aim too good when I'm nervous. I have what I like to sing. <coughs> There's an Indian strolling around out there. What? There's an Indian out there. Oh, no, no. 
there was an Indian out there. <laughs> What's going on here, anyway? What the hell are you doing, overcharging these fellas? They're waiting for Jake Remy. Oh. Last I heard, they were fighting in Mexico. How many are there? How many are there? Now, 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 easy, easy. <laughs> in just a minute now, he's going to be talking his arm off. You just watch. <clears throat> All right, Sonny. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Time to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> Answer is useful, Critter. Did you know that? Yes, sir. Like you just take right now, for example, if you was to want to shed that shirt of, of lice, why, them, them little things there'd just be overjoyed to do the job for you. Oh, yeah, and then there was a time I had some black crickets. They're on their way here. What for? Everybody on that barge. Everybody. You just don't understand. Everything I own is here. I can't just leave my store. Why don't we just let them pass? Maybe they won't make trouble. You're talking like a damn fool. Travis is right. From what I heard about Jake Remy, he used lonely gel to light his cigar. But everything, everything Reverend, I... Reverend! Now get the hell out of here. Now you listen to me, Travis. In a minute. <laughs> I just don't understand you, Fire Eyes. I don't either. Come on. These are fine shooting sticks, but ain't no good for this work. Remy wants to talk to you. I heard him. Tell him I'll be with him in a minute. You'll be with him in a minute? Yeah, I know what he wants. There's no hurt. Yes, sir. The match? Hmm. Yeah, best take two. Your word on that, huh? Well, I tell you, 
Remy. I sure got a fondness for this here boat, just as I would a good horse. And I wouldn't sell this boat to any man unless I really knew he loved it. The same as I would a horse. You ever own a boat before, Remy? I said you wouldn't sell your favorite horse to a man who didn't know its head from its tail, would you? Travis, I think we ought to seriously consider letting them have the barge. Remy's got no reason for killing us. This kind don't need a reason to kill. Ain't nobody gonna burn him. Not you. Not Remy. Wolf is wolf and sheep is sheep. Don't you go looking for no grave for yourself, Fire Eyes. Hey, why don't you get shed all them squatters and throw in with me? Sounds good. Well, come on. No, no. Cool. You mean... You mean you're gonna make a stand with a bunch of squatters? The well, wood ticks on my ass. Not only with a bunch of squatters. All right, don't you know in a few years they're going to push us plumb out of this wilderness? He's right. Ain't going to be nothing from hell to breakfast but just them squatters. I don't give a damn about them. You move a hundred yards down. You've already had your say, haven't we? I'm standing on the wrong side of this damn river. Everything I own is over there. And I'm not going to sit around and watch some lunatic destroy it. Listen, Reverend. I've watched you take all the poor devils that have gone through lonely dells, the old and blonde. And you ordained yourself when you found they fought religion. Well, I don't give a good damn which side of this river you're on. You better stay on the right side of me. Well, it seems I didn't ordain myself high enough. You've done me one better. You've made yourself God. Blessed be Travis. Blessed be his holy name. Thank you. Now I've got work to do. Agrees with you. Just make sure you got enough rope. So burning the barge isn't the answer. Sure as hell isn't it? It fits. Remember that. You listen to them squatters are yapping and a whining. They'd light out right now if they weren't short of rations. Afraid to take off without food and ammunition. Better off here than roaming around out there by themselves. Yeah. It'll be a long night for them. Tell me he got one of them squatters. We got our own hostage. Get him. He. Yep. Remy! Hey, Remy! We got your genuine bargain here. Fred, you this rascal for that squatter. Yeah, Remy. It's me, Fair. Hey, boy. You talk loud and that. Go on, speak up. Remy! It's me, Fair! Yeah. All you gotta swap is that smoke! I'm just beginning to like that fella, too. But like I said, take your time and think it over. Yeah, 
Come give me a hand. Nobody getting old. Try to give his fellas some kind of decent burial. For all the trouble he went through to get rid of them ants, be shameful to get him in the end, won't it? Hey, come on. to get rolling if i could but it's impossible if i give this barge to remy the only difference is it kill all of us as well as roland you never knew roland very well no nope. uh, the rest either i respected you for that they hated it the way you put yourself above them Move that woman in with you and live the way you pleased. Roland and I talked a lot about it. He couldn't understand you. And you could? Yes. Does that surprise you? Yes. That's because you never looked very close at me. Well, now, that's where you're wrong. I know you looked at me like that. But you didn't put the study on it. I study those things that are important to me, to keep me alive. Give him the barge. I'll do whatever you ask if you do. It seems to be my day for bargains. You've spent your life among the other kind, who travel from one trapper's cabin to another. Mrs. Hall. Is your husband the only reason for this bargain? Because he isn't, you know. I'd give anything in this world to spend a night with you. Anything. Except my barge. baptizing just like he's gonna do that poor bastard. He's kid. No, I don't think so. But this is understand my being a Christian. Without a good reason. I ain't got a good reason. Oh? <laughs> I just thought you might like to keep me company. Ooh. Fires, I'll tell you something. <clears throat> my visits with you are gonna get scarcer and scarcer. Oof, you plumb wear me out.
idea of getting rid of those metamuffins out there. And those guards out there on the dock. I was hoping you might start a little stampede. Hmm? <laughs> Oof, my eyes, you're a devil. Dry. You want to stay here with Remy? Jeez, just get wet again. You'd quit the Dell, throw in with me. See now that you ain't. You ain't ever. You're leaving. Well, you don't need me no more. Lost in the wilderness, huh? Now is a little sleep. Keep me warm. Mark and stuff. saw the river, and for years I watched men go around it. It was some kind of a fence with no trespassing signs on I don't like fences, any kind. So I tore that fence down. There may be hope for you yet. No, Travis. You're the one there's no hope for. 
After you're dead, me and my kind will still be here, and everything will be ours. You're like those prehistoric beasts that become extinct. Oh, they'll still write nice stories about your kind. You'll be a hero and all that. But most of all, you'll be dead. You didn't want my bard. We might have got along pretty good if it hadn't been for that bard. But he killed something, that's for sure. <laughs> 